Well, hi, I'm Neil Cole, and for my first ever trip to Utah, to Park City, Ken Block has got something very exciting lined up for me. Uh, I'm looking forward to being in action sports heaven. Ken, what's going on? Well, you, you're a skateboarder, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are going to the biggest, newest, best Woodward ever built. Today, today is the grand opening of Woodward Park City. Uh, so we're gonna go there and look what we have to go there in. Very mm. nice setup. I'm actually doing a little bit of marketing stuff for Woodward on the mountain. <laughs> uh, so we have a brand new Can-Am uh, with Apache tracks on it. And it's being pulled by this uh, very nice Ford Explorer ST. <laughs> Very cool little package. I haven't even driven this thing yet. <laughs> yeah, you've not. <laughs> <laughs> we just got it. It's set up for uh, uh, basically driving around the winter situation. Some very nice toes and 1552 <laughs> and a box on top to carry snowboards. So, yeah. And look at the wrap. That's really cool. Yeah, so it matches the SVC Raptor right there. I don't know, all my stuff's <laughs> got to <a> match. <laughs> <laughs> it's attention right. to detail. Are, Are we ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's get in. I'm very stoked. Big truck. Ooh. New car smell. Parking lot's packed. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna be all parked. But look, what is that? that? There it is. Giant snowboard and ski park, a huge half pipe. And then here's the building. 70,000 square foot full indoor playground. Wow. So this I is I don't know how we're going <laughs> to do this. I think it might be busy, popular yeah. uh, opening. Well, we couldn't have parked much closer. Uh, <laughs> and this is pretty spectacular, Ken. I mean, yeah, well, obviously, full ski run up there, one lift, several snowboard parks, ski park, a full half pipe. Obviously, not fully built yet. Yeah. Uh, but we have the, the huge Woodward building right here with about 70,000 square foot, full of lots of fun stuff. But this is today the grand opening Woodward Park City grand opening. So, Let's go inside and play. Also, it's cold, so inside oh, yeah. sounds good. Oh, yeah. And by the way, we did bring the Can-Am for a bit <laughs> of fun. So we are doing some marketing stuff here. They're doing a crazy one shot through the whole park. And uh, yeah, so we'll show that later on. But let's go inside. <laughs> yeah. Am I far enough up, Neil? <laughs> I think you got it. <laughs> Give us an idea what it would have meant to 
you, the likes of you and me in the early days of skateboarding, if we'd had a place like this to call home. It would have been a lot better than we are. <laughs> and you're one of the we, best in the we, world, had, you know. And we had a place like this, yeah. I mean, I grew up as a gymnast and, and used to bring the, the crash pads down to the skate park. And mm -hmm. I, I was had a fascination with inverted aerials and would get my gymnast friends to come and spot me. And I'm going to try and flip out. Let's put this resi pad mm -hmm. on the deck of the vert ramp and try and flip out onto the resi. And wouldn't that be cool if we could had a foam pit like you guys and we built the very first one. It's still there in Pennsylvania. The idea, the, the concept of having both a gymnastics camp and an action sports camp combined turned into what we have here at Park City. Being able to train and cross train in your aerial awareness and on the trampolines and the foam pit and then on the ramps and on the hill. So it's just like... It's, it's expedited the learning curve. I mean, the progression is just going to be so quick yep. for some of these kids. Yeah, that they're absolutely. Combining their lack of fear. And combining your lack of fear, but what's to fear? Look at all that. Like, how are you going to get it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Cheers. See you soon. Who is excited about being on the first hot lap left drive? Uh, we brought in Hoonigan to help us produce a one shot to record this historic day. All you amazing athletes and friends who are here to, to check this whole place out. Basically, we just want to get some not crazy action fun. We just want people having fun, checking the place out, top to bottom, over the bridge, into the building, all the way through. But with that said, uh, Jeremy Jones. So, my name is Jeremy Jones. Thanks for coming out, being a part of it. If you feel like throwing it, you can throw it. If you don't totally get the stick, it doesn't mean that we're reshooting the whole thing because of that. We're just trying to get some sort of choreography and the pace of things so that we can line it up with the drone that we'll be flying overhead. Real quick, uh, a couple notes. At a bunch of times, the drone's really low, like six feet. It should be outside of everybody's wheelhouse, but just kind of keep your eyes open. It's got yellow flags on it. When Ken comes out of his area, he's gonna emit from his road right here and stop aggressively right in this lift line. <laughs> so everybody that's so in the lift for... line, try to stay <laughs> tight to the lift. And when he gets here, if you like turn around, you're like, oh, there's a can am doing crazy stuff. That's rad. Like that's part of it. You, you know, don't ignore it, right? <laughs> um, so just be aware that he will be. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> I drive aggressively. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stop aggressively. Go ahead. Like, start and stop aggressively. <laughs> so Ken, what are we doing with this can -Am? <laughs> <laughs> Well, today we're shooting part of a, a special bit of marketing for Woodward. And uh, they wanted me to be a part of it with uh, this can -Am with track. So very stoked to be here and be with a bunch of my buddies having some fun on the mountain so yeah you should get in so we can go uh, we'll have some fun well, i was just waiting for the, the invitation i'm an english man i'm, I'm very polite oh, yeah. just waiting to be invited in i'm like a vampire you have to let me in <laughs> right wow well. have you been in like a can am like this before no i haven't oh, okay <laughs> especially not with tracks on it no i'll just stand at the bottom up like I'm getting real stoked. <laughs> That's your cue to go. All right. And he's a what? A what now? He's an Olympic gold medalist. Okay. So uh, hard. That's quite a big deal. It's hard. Yeah, kind of a big, kind yeah. of a big deal. <laughs> There's actually two on the hill. Sage Kotzenberg that's local to Park City and then Red. So. Very good. That's our cue.
So Ken, please introduce us to someone who can talk about the importance of a new facility like this. This is Eddie Wall. Hello. <laughs> hi, hi. So Eddie used to be on the DC team when we had the Mount Lab, and the Mount Lab is literally like that ridge line that's back there. If you went to the top and looked this way, you could see the spot. So. I mean, what do you think about like yeah. the, the kids that will be able to come out of it? I mean, there's already Olympic athletes, Olympic gold medalists that came out of this area. Yeah. And now we have the... I mean, I think there's something to be said, kind of talking about the Mountain Lab and then to this is for having everything in one condensed space. You know, like the Mountain Lab was this kind of small area of just concentrated progression. And that's exactly what you have here, but just kind of a whole other level. Yeah. And that's what it's, I mean, what they have built here is just incredible. I mean, I never dreamt in like these sort of dimensions. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, the, like this is so far beyond what I ever would have You need dreamt to dream about. bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's if problem. that's possible, that's I, I, problem. I was just joking. <laughs> You're like, have you seen what I've been doing lately? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Likewise. Nice sir. hosting earlier. Thank you. So I'm Master Caleb. Sell surfs, skates, <laughs> snowboards. Used to come up and stay with us here in town. As well as back at the old mountain lab. Yeah, at the mountain lab. So, I mean, what, like, this sort of place, like, you and I dreamt of this as kids, and now to have this in Park City, it's insane, right? When I walked in here, the first thing I said was like, remember I said to you, I was like, can we get like a limitless pill to be, <laughs> if I could just be 15 for an hour, yeah. once a month, it would be insane. Because for us, when we were learning these sports, A, you had to like, get the equipment, B, you had to find the kids that were doing it, and then C, like hope that they would accept you in, yeah or not tell you to beat it. Like, you're a kid, and you instantly get world-class training, and coaching, and facilities to learn the thing and make it a part of your life from the get-go. Yeah. And it's all welcoming. Like, no, yeah. come in. Yeah, yeah. Come in, try this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. we'll tell you to do it. Not only that, instead of trying to risk your neck on a rail at some mall somewhere, there's one here in a foam pit, the right. airbag. Right. You know, so <laughs> let's transition back yeah. in into, into gymnastics. Yeah. So my daughter's were over here doing flips. Yeah. So you just had a wild hair today? All these coaches are the kids are way too like kind of Disneylandy about it. Like, yeah, sound no problem. <laughs> like, we can show you how to do it. And they took their time with me and it went from like spotting to like Doing backflips. Nice. I can do a backflip. All right. So we're gonna have to do us a backflip right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Yeah! Yep. Yes. The rodeo flips coming. <laughs> I might try. Yeah, you should. Think I should? Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a great decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just spot. Look, this is what they told me. Just stay looking at me the whole time, and you got it. crash mat and then the small ramp onto the crash mat and then this is the mega ramp into the foam pit and someone who's familiar with that is over here <laughs> and I guess you guys know each other quite well no we don't we yeah? actually just met yesterday for the first really? time really I just presumed because of the adventure sports to motorsport crossover you'd be old friends in fact I mountain bike a lot too you'd think I would know this guy too <laughs> I mean, my, my hobby's rally so yeah. there's lots of crossover and, and we have lots of friends in common but yeah, it's the first time we've each other, so. Oh, it's great to have dudes like this in town this weekend. And uh, this facility is not only meant for the, the kids that can come here and train, but 
Also, guys like this to be able to come in town and be able to have a lot of fun playing too. You grew up in BC, Whistler area. Well, I grew up in Whistler, and then when I was like 18, I moved to Squamish. And when I moved to Squamish, I had five bought like a Subaru. And I was like, oh yeah, cool, like rally cars. Like I'd see them on the FSRs all the time. There's just like, there's dudes from Pepperdine that race, and there's guys from Squamish that race, and I, I never met them. But they were like, you know, we were shuttled these same roads and they'd just be like drifting. I'm like, that's, that looks so fun. Yeah. So I moved to Squamish and I, I had a connection just like a friend in common with this guy named Power Shard. So I was like, oh, it, like, he's like, check out the shop. I'm like, sweet. I rolled down there. Literally, like, I just bought this car and I was like, he's asked me about it. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. Like, it's fun. But like, I kind of bought it because I was like, I kind of want to rally it a bit. And he's like, well, you need a rally car. And he's like, so just on the spot, he's like, I'll just take that car and give you a rally car. <laughs> history from there. Um, yeah, so like maybe when I was like 19, I finally had the car, and I I didn't really race it much to begin with, and then you know started doing like one or two races a year, and then did a little more and a little more, and now like you know I I, I try and do a handful here. Yeah. So you happen to ra happen to race and win a national rally. It's a national rally, big white national rally, right? Yeah, yeah. So a big so one of the national rallies up in Canada last weekend, big white winner. Nice. So I was pretty gung-ho about climbing up here, but now I realize there's only one way, really, to get down, and that's, I guess, to slide. <laughs> nice to see you get some vert air there. Yeah, yeah. But of course, there's a foam pit, which is like carte blanche to do anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's fun, <laughs> get warmed up, but, you know, a big part of why you come to Woodward is, like, the foam pits and to, like, learn new tricks, so... Yeah, we'll jump into this thing a few times and feel it out. Okay. <laughs> Trying to work out what that was. <laughs> yeah, it's like a kind of half three, half flip, double whip. Yeah, it's a fun one. Is it realistically landable without the oh, foam yeah, pit? For yeah, sure. okay. yeah. Yeah, the trick I've done, but we're just getting warmed up. So. Okay. Ken wants to, wants to see if we can maximize the foam pit, so we're getting a little bigger. Okay. Yeah. I mean, one of the great things is obviously foam pits, so you can learn something off that. Then the next level is. Take the resi. To the resi? Yeah, so yeah, the foam pit, if you're ready to hook yourself, you can figure something out, but uh, if you're feeling good about a trick, take to the resi and you can practice stuff or try new tricks. And it's just a good way to like get a lot of laps in and right. get those So then you can get confident there and then take it to exactly. the harder surfaces. Yeah. Maybe even start there and move to the foam and try something that's like an add-on to what you just did and then take it back to the resi. Ah, yeah. yeah, true. So the launch seems to be going extremely well. It's going awesome. <laughs> we just opened this place. Today was the official grand opening of Woodward Park City and just got overrun. It was amazing. Give us a sense of the history of Woodward and what it's meant and why it's helped skateboarding and other adventure sports to get to where they are today. Well, I think like any great brand story, it grew organically over time and the, uh, you know, the 50 years, Woodward this summer will celebrate its 50 year anniversary. It started as a gymnastics camp, added BMX, then skateboarding. I also grew up in the 80s and 90s skateboarding and you know, the common line now for guys my age is like, why wasn't there one of these when I was growing up, right? And there was actually, it just was in a remote part of Pennsylvania. It's still there, it's grown massively. We've got another one in Southern California, Tahoe, Colorado, and now this Woodward Park City. And we keep expanding out onto the mountains at some of our different powder resorts, so it's uh... Better wrap it up, the music's about to start. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Let me finish. Yeah, all right, finish. <laughs> yeah. I, did, uh, where were we? Uh, History, uh, legacy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, about years awesome. for, yeah. it's about awesomeness, right? We're just trying to create a platform and places where people can come and shine and have fun and 
be inclusive to all. So look, down at the end of this corridor, I found someone who you will recognize from competing with Ken over the years, uh, and also uh, a cameo or two in Jim Carnival videos. It's Travis Pastrana. How's How are you, Travis? Travis? <laughs> Man, couldn't be better. Just out here, I mean, Utah is a state of sport, but now we got this Wessel Design facility at Woodward. I mean, this was like what I grew up just wanting to be a part of Woodward East. And then my wife grew up in Woodward West. And now you can come out here with uh, basically Utah Motorsports Campus and just having so much fun. Nitro Circus was born in Draper, if you will, so right down the road from here. Of course, he's the worst instigator I've ever been <laughs> my entire life. 13 year old. Um, Kevin Robinson Jr. is out here, and he does a tuck, back foot, no-hander, off the big jump over there in the foam pit. He does a one and a half with a no-hander. And I just, I just said on just a whim, I was like, you know, if you didn't take your hands off, you just pulled it in a little bit, you get two. And he did it perfect, by the way, no problem at all. Um, his mom wasn't too thrilled. <laughs> just, I'm just offering help. Help! <laughs> just help. Thank you, Travis. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you tuck in, you could maybe do another rotation. No. <laughs> And still, there's activity on the hill. The end of the day, it's been a success, Ken. The lift's still running. Yeah. Actually, there's a big party about to start tonight. <laughs> uh, and the, it's been a long day, but it's been an amazing grand opening. Very happy for everybody at Powder and Woodward to put this on. Uh, it's been very cool. I feel like, though, the entire day I've been selling this place. I feel like <laughs> it's been a big ad, but it's really that rad, and I'm that stoked about it, and I know Every athlete in there that we talk to is that stoked about it too. So that's, yeah, hate if it came off too much like a, <laughs> like a commercial, but it, we're really that stoked. But Santa Gold's about to go on. So I think we should wrap now so that uh, we can go enjoy the evening, Neil. Okay. Thank you for, uh, thanks for coming out and playing. Thanks, Ken. Let's go inside. All right. Good night. <laughs>